Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's September 4th. Um, this is kind of a tough video to make because uh, it could be an hour long if, if, uh, if I went into everything that I would like to go into about it. So I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet by giving you an example that's recently happened to me. Okay, I do a video yesterday about uh, the price of gold and silver, and I get the, the, the common comments that I expected, which is uh, gold bug this, you're a caveman that, whatever. So uh, this is for you uh, to use as, as a reference point in your own mind to why you like gold and silver, or maybe strengthen your argument if you don't know why. Um, you know, you're buying gold and silver because you think it's going to go up in value. Um, you know, that's one good reason to buy it. But the, the fact of the matter is that it's not going up in value. Everything else, the dollar is coming down in value. I'm not going to get into that whole thing, though. I, I want to give you an example of what happened to me just, you know, just the other day. My brother was over, and uh, I had a gold coin out. It's one ounce of gold. Uh, it's, a, it's an American Eagle, and or Gold Eagle. And, uh, you know, he asked me what it's worth, and I said, you know, it's worth about a 1000 bucks. And he's like, I don't, you know, what makes that? He questions everything. He's like me. What makes that worth $1,000? You know, it's just a piece of metal. And that's the same argument that you would get. Now, he, he wasn't being disparaging by that. He was just saying, you know, what makes that worth anything? It's just a piece of metal. And, you know, that's the same thing that uh, a lot of people who are trying to be disparaging to you because um, you invest in gold or silver, they'll say that. It's just a piece of shiny metal. You know, if you, if you take out completely the, uh, the industrial uses for it, you know, just set that aside for a minute. The fact of the matter is, people who give you that argument are correct. It is a piece of metal, and it's shiny. There you go. They, they, they make a valid point. But that's where their validity ends. Um, the fact of the matter is, they are, uh, they're, they're a lot more ignorant believing in a piece of paper is having stored wealth than you are for believing a piece of metal has stored wealth. You know, in actuality, the, the principles behind both of them are the same. They're supposed to be scarce. They're supposed to be uh, not easy to obtain and therefore valuable. Now, there's a lot of people that don't like our scarcity-based economy, and they would like to see a resource-based economy, um, which, you know, I've read, the, I've read uh, reports done on resource-based economies, and, you know, it sounds wonderful, um, but the only proven economy that's worked throughout history has been a scarcity-based economy. And by that I mean, you know, all, all, to, all money is time. You know, the adage, time is money. Most people think if you're sitting around, you could be out, you know, making money. Well, uh, maybe that is what some people mean when they say it, but it's not what I mean when I say it. Time literally is money. And you take your time, whatever you know how to do, you know, if it's basket weaving or whatever, that time you spend weaving a basket, okay, you're doing that because somebody wants your basket. They want your labor that you know how to do that they don't. So you take that labor and you give it to them for a piece of their labor. Now, if I lived in a tribe or a small community and I didn't do any commerce outside that tribe, there would be no need for gold, silver, currency, anything. It would be just a simple barter system. But that isn't the world we live in. We get things from all over the world, different people, um, different skills. So we need a way to um, condense our labor into a transferable form. And therefore, we use gold or silver or dollars to do that. That's all it is. Taking our time, turning it into a transformable system, a currency, and trading it for someone else's time. That's it. That's currency. So... If you're going to do that, you need to put the faith and your labor into something that is tangible and real. You know, fact of the matter is, this is scarce. This is universally known. This is going to be a store of wealth because of its nature. Rare, scarce, impossible to duplicate. Okay? Everything that I just said, rare, scarce, and impossible to duplicate is the uh, exact opposite of this thing right here. It's a piece of paper. That's why when this was first introduced, it was backed by this. At any time, you could take this and turn it into this. This is easier to carry um, and uh, is, was used by banks as a guarantee that you could get this for it.
Well, you know, that didn't suit the banksters of the world who realized that this was a lot of work to get. You know, they had to pay people to dig in the ground for their labor. They had to pay them with it. Um, and it wasn't easy to just accumulate it. It took labor. People realized what they were getting. It, they realized how hard it was to work for this. So they created a fractional reserve system where you could all of a sudden have only 10% of this in and create uh, bonds or slips of paper guaranteeing it until 1971 when they just decided, you know, let's just this is archaic and caveman-ish, so let's just get rid of it. So they did. So now you have a dollar that is still, you know, the, the mainstream media is hammering into your head, this is what it's all about. But the fact of the matter is, this isn't what it's all about. This is a trap. This is a trap that's going to indenture you, your children, and your children's children. Because they're printing it out of thin air. The, 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 um, every time they make a dollar with nothing behind it, it takes value from an existing dollar that's in the system. Now, there's no way in God's green earth that your wages are ever going to go up at the same rate of the dollar. The, the increase in money supply. So you're always, every dollar they create, every dollar they borrow, every dollar they print, your labor is worth less and less. So you're working harder to get less. And that's why fiat currencies, inevitably, this isn't a could happen, inevitably, these systems fail. And so will this one. I don't know when, but I can guarantee you it's going to happen. Because history tells me it's going to happen. And history also tells me that this will never be worth nothing. You can hammer it out, make it into a ball, bury it in the ground for uh, 5,000 years, dig it up, it's still going to have value. This is probably going to end up starting a fire someday for somebody. That's the only value it has, the BTU value in the paper that it's printed on. At any rate, that's my theory on uh, gold and silver. That's all I got.